Hello everybody. So I wanted to remove the cigarette lighter in my Alfa Romeo and it turns out it was a little bit harder than I was expected. I did some searches online to find out if anybody else have removed it. I found a couple of videos explaining how to do it but in most cases they just destroyed the cigarette lighter when they took it out. And I figured it had to be another way to do it. So I actually ended up spending a lot of time figuring out how to take it out without destroying it. And uh, well, it wasn't exactly an easy task because it was really stuck. It, it seems like it almost was glued. But after a lot of trial and error, I figured out how to do it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove your old cigarette lighter in Alfa Romeo and replace it with a USB charger instead. I started with removing the cigarette lighter itself. Then I opened the coverage around the gear stick so that I get access down under it. I reached under the cigarette lighter and disconnected the cables. That wasn't an easy task because you have to find out where to pinch the cable so that it will disconnect from the cigarette lighter. It's a little bit fiddling, but when you get a hang of it, it's quite easy actually. Here I'm showing you where you need to pinch to um, make the cable loose so you can pull it out from the cigarette lighter itself. After that, you actually have to take the inside of the cigarette lighter out. To do that, you have to pinch in in two places to get it loose. Like I'm showing you on the drawing. It's not easy to find or to make them loose, so if you use two screwdrivers, that should be easier. Like I'm showing here, I use one screwdriver to pinch in that little knob in there and I use another screwdriver to lift it up a little bit. I have to do this on both holes to get it up. Be careful not to push it down again. After that you can reach under the cigarette lighter and then push it up. I'm sorry I don't have a video of me doing it because it was too hard to hold the camera and doing it at the same time so please just take my word for it. It's not very hard when it's loose. So next is to get the rest out of the uh, hole. Uh, I did do it the easy way, just put my finger down and bend it a little bit over and then pull it out carefully. It was stuck, but it wasn't too hard to get it out either. Just remember, you can't pull it straight out. You have to bend it to the side and then Pull it out. Actually it's not too hard to put it together either after that. I actually did it with one hand like I'm showing here. But of course it's easier with two hands. After that everything was easy. The socket actually had three cables. But I only needed two of them, plus and minus. And luckily for me, the socket actually connected beautifully to my uh, new uh, USB port. So I just had to rearrange the cables a little bit. So I took them all out and put one on the left and one on the right. So I got plus and minus and the third cable I didn't need to use. So I just isolated it and tucked it away. If uh, your socket doesn't fit with a new USB adapter. You can just remove it and do it like shown in this picture. Just remember, you don't actually need three cables. So one of them, you just isolate it and tuck away. So here is the result. The USB adapter order had two sockets. One port has only one amp and the other one has uh, 2.1 amp. I'm actually recommending another USB adapter instead of this one. I will leave a link in the description on what USB adapter I do recommend instead of this one. The two 
adapters are recommending uh, in a link down below. One of them has two USB ports of 2.1 amp and the third one has actually 2.4 amp at, at two ports, making charging really fast. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, hopefully this was useful uh, for you. See you later.